Hello everyone and welcome to the 24th of May or turn 15. Let's have a look see what's going on. Clear weather, always good. And 46 victory points, same as France. Losses edge up ever so slightly but everyone else has increased by a fair amount. I'm impressed by the Belgians hitting nearly 90% losses, that's quite a lot. And the deadline, as always, is the 18th of June, which is still another three weeks in a bit. Right, let's go look at the history. See what happened last turn. So, unsurprisingly, I eliminated the surrounded regiments there. And we kind of edged forward without anything too dramatic in the south. I think we busted them out of this hex eventually, or perhaps not. Yeah, but there was also a hole in their lines here, which I thought was a bit odd. Uh, I didn't have enough spare troops or action points to really crash through it, but we did manage to throw a strong uh, mobile force over that bridgehead, so hopefully we'll be able to do something about that. There's a bunch of HQs basically back here, uh, but no actual fighting units. In the north, they're having linked up with 6th Army, these guys are just kind of keeping the pressure on. The French are falling back a couple of hexes every turn, which makes it very difficult to actually get to grips with them and, and take them out. Yeah, we did eventually force that hex, but then these absolutely shattered units held us off, which quite annoyed me. And the surrounded troops here were eliminated. Solid work by the, the guys of 6th Army. And we've got big breach in the French lines there, which we're doing everything we can to exploit. Um, we also managed to pull off a... Actually, wait, maybe we did, failed it, I can't remember. We attempted an encirclement here, no, it didn't really work. But the infantry are now exploiting and the engineers, because they're motorised, are leading the way. There's a few French mobile units, but nothing serious. I was going to drop paratroopers in Cam Cambrai, Cambrai over Cambrai? No, pronunciation. Over here, but it's actually outside of paradrop range, which is a bit unfortunate. Uh, so the paratrooper card was a bit wasted, unfortunately. We didn't circle a couple of regiments here, and then the infantry continued to advance through the forest, the lighter bits of the forest. There's a fairly solid line of French units here, but doesn't appear to be anything here, unless there's a huge French army lurking in the reserves to pounce on my overextended units, but I couldn't find them when I was scouting, if so. But yeah, we basically just pushed the infantry forward as far as we could. These guys are, there's a fair amount of troops here and here, so these guys are probably going to get battered in this coming turn. But I couldn't see these troops when I was uh, moving them, unfortunately. A bunch of my mobile units are no longer mobile because I've lost too many trucks. And there's now more troops than trucks, which is very annoying. Yeah, we also grab this crucial bridgehead here. If we can get across, we can basically go straight to the channel without encountering any more um, annoying rivers. Fourth Army in position to finish off the Belgians. they can encircle and wipe out a few more units but yeah looking at those Belgian losses this pretty much is all of them they must surrender any time now it's a, it's a bit 
surprising they haven't to be honest they've lost nearly all their cities and their entire army has just been dissolved But yeah, Fourth Army now decisively taking Antwerp and streaming over the rivers. Twelfth Army now. Wow, okay, they've got some long running troops there. There might be some enemies in Ghent just trying to hold the rivers there, but um, they're probably going to eliminate all these guys this turn. Yep, not surprising. Lucky enough to catch some French in there as well. Unfortunately, the British Armoured Regiment does quite a good job and holds off the attack. Good hits there on a bunch of French uh, light planes. Panzer Group Kleist unfortunately runs into some French mobile units that prove quite stubborn. I've asked Baby Joey to swing some of his troops in the, in the south end of his forces down this way because my mo my mobile troops aren't very mobile anymore um, hopefully you'll do it but yeah nothing super surprising here Group Ply seems a bit stymied by the river line there, unfortunately. And last but not least, 16th Army having been given paratroopers this turn, basically behind the Dutch lines, proceed to use them quite well and cut off a big pocket around Amsterdam. Amsterdam is an actually supply source for the Dutch, so the guys in it are basically fucked. There's, there's nothing they can really do, except starve to death. And time for the French. Let's see if they manage to do anything about this little breakthrough there. I'm hoping not. Doesn't look like they're going to try. Oh, ouch. Oh dear. Okay, I was really worried for a second there that they were going to eliminate the cutoff units, but it seems not. And there's armoured units in the forest, which is an interesting choice. They do seem to be abandoning the line there, but also trying to, main, trying to keep as much trouble for us as possible. Oof. Ah, that was close. We could have lost two regiments there, so that would have been very unfortunate. But luckily they held and the French units that failed the attack are now in striking range of our infantry this turn. So we're going to be able to inflict quite a lot of hurt on them I think. British are also running for it, can't blame them. There's this big penetration here that threatens to cut them off from the French. Um, watching this it seems like they're probably going to make it just because they can move a lot faster than we can and they have a lot of motorised infantry. It's a pity, but perhaps unsurprising. Yeah, look at all these units running for their lives. Cheeky. <laughs> That's quite impressive by the engineers. I did not expect them to be surviving that. The Belgians are trying to run for it, but they will be overrun and the Dutch are largely unable to break their encirclement, so that is that. OK, 
patience for the Dutch. Wow, ouch, okay. I think that German unit was probably struggling for supply quite a lot. They don't manage to take out the 301st Regiment, so that is that. Up here, the Dutch are screwed. And all these guys in, in the Amsterdam pocket uh, don't have any source of supply, so we're going to starve. Further south, they're still doing a pretty good job of frustrating the advance, but yeah, this is the, the end for them. Once Amsterdam falls, they should surrender in fairly short order. Going down a bit, 4th Army is probably going to overrun the most of the remnants of the Belgians this turn. And these pockets should be eliminated as well. The, guy, the units in them are very low readiness. Panzer Group Kleist breaking for the channel. Um, there's not really anything for them to hit there, to be honest. Past that, once they get to Lille, I suppose they can go for the Dunkirk, Calais, Boulogne uh, on the coast. I do hope they swing south because I'm, I'm suspecting that the French line is reforming somewhere in the interior. Um, same thing here. We've got. Oh, that's good that those guys are surrounded. We can probably eliminate them. And there's probably some units in there. We'll find out during the turn. Nothing too surprising. These guys took a bit of a beating but are still alive. And that's three French regiments, which are completely screwed. Quite possibly, hmm, perhaps not. These guys seem quite well dug in. We'll be able to hurt them at least. Further south, the French resistance is still quite stiff. Um, as you can see, I've been putting my guys on 100% retreat, so they just will not fall back unless they're absolutely forced to. So in the French, French counterattack, it can go quite badly for them. A lot of the units are fairly broken up. Um, they still have a fair amount, but they, uh, several of them are quite hurt. Over here again, I'm going to have to do a bunch of air recon to determine the exact situation. Uh, but we are across the river, and it looks like the French are falling back again. As you can see, we've got proper penetration to France proper. I don't think we can win the game with only the victory points of this section, but again, we may be able to. I haven't done an exact count, might actually do that next turn when I have some time and report back. But yeah, overall, things are looking up. The cards, we can't play another extra division quite yet, but a couple of turns we'll be able to. They're quite far behind, so they have to rail forward, and it's all a bit of a fave. The major French resistance is likely in the fog of war here and still in the south. They've done excellent fighting retreat in the south, but 18th Army, uh, backed up by the commitment of the Luftwaffe here, has been able to push them through the forest, and now that they're into the open, yes, the, the, the French are going to be routed eventually. It's just a matter of when. Considering we still have another ooh, 24 turns to play, we will see. Right, thank you very much everyone, and I will see you next turn. It could be another week or so before the next one, next video is out, because we have some people going on holiday in the player group. Thanks everyone.